What's up everyone and welcome to a new topic discussion gameplay thing we're talking about and that is called Destiny 2 Beyond Light. Let's start off with the game itself. They say it's one of the most biggest expansions they've done and I was expecting big, right? I was expecting like loads of missions, lots of things to do and have all these wonderful arsenal of weapons. I was very disappointed. Unfortunately, the weapons I've been using for the past year or two uh, is now coming to effect of this thing called sunsetting, which um, which caps older weapons, so you can't upgrade them anymore, or like infuse. So you can't infuse weapons uh, any higher than 1,060. Like, why would you do that? It's it's the coolest thing to get loot. That's what Destiny has pretty much always been. Loot grabbing and, uh, you know, figuring out which is a good weapon to approach things or finding weapons that could be powerful and finding the right mob packs with it. Say, for example, one of my swords I got from the Black Armory, which I loved to bits. And if I could rename that weapon, I would. Unfortunately, has been capped to 1060, so I can't upgrade it anymore. Why would you do that, Bungie? Honestly, that is just utter, utter... No, I'm not going to say it. PG-friendly video. Uh, it's not just my, like, you know, a few of my weapons. It, there is six... Yeah, there's pretty much 60% of the weapons that are in right now have been capped to that, what, that level. And... It is such an upsetting thing to see. So from what I was hearing from people to different communities to say, oh, it's one of the biggest thing. Like, it's, this map's going to be massive. It's going to be insanely big. I was very disappointed by how big it was. And because it, although it was big and I can feel that is one of the biggest things, it was empty as well. The Cosmodome is really empty. It literally has one strike mission and maybe just the one mission you go down there for the main quest. And I was hoping new or even older stuff to bring back, but they clearly didn't. They just left it there and went, here's a, here's, here's a field for you to just reminisce back and then nostalgia days. Have fun doing what you're doing and I'm like, okay thank you for that but i wouldn't mind some quest on the go nope 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 you know <laughs> but yeah the missions there was hardly any missions man like after you've beaten through the game there's just not much to do there's there, there's your new ability which we'll come around to in a second and maybe finding one weapon that's so far in my books and yeah I, I was expecting it to be like Dreaming City quests, you know, or secret finding, you know, finding all these secrets. Dreaming City, for example, is one of them which I really liked because you had the you had the well, which was enjoyable, and then you had these weird bottles, and every time you drank them in the Dreaming City, you'd find some weird portals opened up, and you can jump in there and you'd get taken to a different world, which would be the Taken world, and it's pretty cool because you have to try and get through it, and when you get through it, you get a a reward well deserved um other mi mystery stuff around there like including the uh the, the cats and you know etc etc there, there yeah there was quite a lot there i'm gonna look back at including the queen you know that was cool finding out that uh he's st still alive the storyline itself ain't bad it could have been better but it ain't too bad the problem is, uh, it's it's <laughs> it's a th it, it's it's a love and hate thing with me, and I liked it, but I also worry about it as well because, well, yeah, I liked it and I also hated it, but not not the hate it that I don't want to play this again, the hate it that it's left me to freak out that I don't want to be the darkness, I don't want to choose the darkness, I don't want to have a choosing, I don't want even want to choose, you know, I. They keep, they keep hint, they keep for yeah, the word foreshadow keeps coming to mind when I play that game and I was doing the main story. Um, I, f I feel like there's too much foreshadowing coming on and expecting you to do this and that. So as, uh, you know, I really hope they don't make me do a choice later on in the, in the, the other expansions because I will be sure to hell upset about that. I like the fact of seeing the, uh, 
The Fallen have the darkness power for me. <laughs> that was uh, interesting. It was also very unique because I I was just a guardian with my, my light. And then, you know, <laughs> they have the, the, the darkness. And that really did freak me out a bit. <laughs> Put me on edge. But and the worst thing is because I couldn't have my I couldn't use my old weapons. <laughs> I, I was literally naked. It felt naked. I felt naked playing it. Honestly, I felt naked. But let's talk about the new ability your guardian gets. Now I can't ex I can't tell give you detail on the other guardians, but I use warlock a lot, and that's the only one I really use because I enjoy using warlock. I've always done since Destiny One. Well, the Warlock special is the Shade Binder. Um, I, I, it started to grow over me. I hated it at first because it just felt useless. But I, I kind of looked away from it instead of using it as a special, like a major special attack. I used it as a melee attack. And man, that's actually really, really good. Monte Carlo is a really, really cool weapon for the static. Uh, when dealing damage, your melee cooldown goes up a lot quicker, and with each kill, you can be fully charged. Having that with your static melee ability is interesting, and I started using that a lot a bit more. Having that charge very quickly and then using that constantly is a really, really cool strategy for my my attacks first. Not to mention, with an added bonus of the Claws of Amakara, I can't... And now it's the end again because they like to keep these complicated for dyslexic people like myself. And uh, basically the claws, they give you, they grant you two melee attacks. So like two melee abilities. Once you get that Monte Carlo on the go and you charge it up twice, uh, it becomes a pretty cool combination. I like that combination. That's my personal favorite combination for it so far. With the story-wise, the enemies fighting, it, you know, it's the basic Destiny fighting. There is a few new things. Uh, the new enemies kind of annoy me a little bit more than enjoying to kill them. Uh, I've started. Grow I've start once I've started my power level up. I'm now currently over 1,210. So I'm getting there. I'm getting there. And things are starting to get a bit easier. I did like when I first started off <laughs> the struggle uh, I had on um, strikes was fun. I, I I missed that. I missed I had I missed thinking about my actions in the game. It's a sad thing to hear that Gambit Prime is no more. I enjoyed Gambit Prime. I loved Gambit Prime. It was just a one hell of a ride. Normal Gambit is just too much of a drag for me and takes too long, I find. Uh, but, you know, I, I haven't even touched Gambit since Gambit Prime left. Crucible ain't too bad. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's once everyone's using static, it's just a mess. It's an absolute mess. It's also fun mess as well, you know? It's, it's a fun mess situation. I, I like it. But in overall, I, I will be honest with you that Destiny at the moment currently is under mixed review. As, and I think that's the perfect way of saying this expansion pack so far. Uh, I, I, I know there's season passes which I've got and, I've, you know, I, I don't like waiting for things just for like a couple missions to do. Yeah, it, it, it's a love and hate for me. I like it, and I'm still going to be playing the hell out of it, and I'm constantly playing it recently. Uh, but on the other hand, I'm also somewhat disappointed with quite a few things they've changed. My sword especially, because it was a golden sword, and it looked awesome on my character. And to have the, 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 the paddle, <laughs> the paddle of all paddles... <laughs> Everyone uses and I don't blame them because that is literally the only legendary weapon I can see that is only there really. I can't think of any other weapon that is constant upgrading. There's no look. Yeah, it's just that weapon. The mixed review on Steam is very deserving. I, I don't think it should be bad. It shouldn't be too good. It, should, it mix is perfect right there <laughs> for how I feel about this game. Um, it's nice to have a chat about these things and have a discussion about my thoughts on this game. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's been an interesting one so far, and I'm still going to continue playing the hell out of it. 
and there, there's no yeah there's no point of like I'm not going to quit on it I'm not going to give up on Destiny I think when it, if it comes to a point where I have to choose light or darkness then I'm going to quit the game because I don't like it when they throw choices at me I hate games that they do that this ain't bloody walking dead if we get over 10 likes of this video I will do a discussion about the season of the hunt and what I think of it because I'm just started playing that as well of the uh, destiny expansion and I've got a few things to say about that so without further ado I want to say thank you so much for sitting down chilling out and listening to this and watch some combat action and I'll see you guys in the next video you take care and have a beautiful wonderful day <laughs> yes